Hello, I'm made it to New York and I feel like I'm on my last straw because I'm on like two brain cells. I woke up around 5 a.m. today, traversed the whole SFO, and now I'm finally in my friend's place. I am looking so crusty today. I am joined here by a lovely ficus Audrey and some very cute decor. We got this frog guy here. He makes frog sounds or like toad sounds because he's got the grooves on his back. I think that kind of worked. I don't know. It's really cute. All right, anyways, I brought three hard case luggages and I really regret it. Although I don't know if there is any other way for me to bring less bags, but traversing New York with hard shelled wheeled luggages while just like trying to wheel them around felt impossible. And I don't know how I'm going to survive the next few days, but I'm going to try to recruit as much help as I can. Now that I am here, I'm just going to rest up for a bit. I'm in Brooklyn. It's going to be a fun time. And I'm just going to let my friends like show me around and just enjoy their company. We're climbing. I'm really scared. So this first week really was just a swell time being in the presence of old time friends that I haven't seen in months. It was a good time to relax before all the chaos that is tabling at Anime New York City. It's for vlogging. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we just hang out on a hot summer day. Yeah, it's gonna rain. My favorite thing to do is to show friends Minecraft videos. Okay, here we go. But then there's like certain people that stay, uh, stand out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Five measures. <laughs> I feel like most base stuff is just like really good. Can we learn the Naruto one? one? <laughs> yeah, that one. That one. Bun up. Bun up. I've been really grateful for having the time to reunite with friends. It felt like being on summer break again, enjoying the liveliness of the city and navigating the New York subways. I got to catch up with different art friends, including Badia, where I got to visit everyone's studios and see how their own art journeys have gone so far. You want to guess? Oh. Mm. oh, I want to be the dolly clock. The dolly. What if it's the mystery? We don't even know what the mystery cool. is. <gasps> what is this? It's a bunch of guys. Wait, whoa! This is bad because I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I'm like, what painting is that? Brothers. Oh God. Well, yeah. it's like you got lucky because there's like two of them. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love them 
don't. No. <laughs> you don't eat. Well, phone eats first. <laughs> Thus began our three day long journey that is NYC. This was my third time tailing out of state, so I've gotten a little bit more used to packing for these occasions. However, I didn't anticipate losing a whole wheel of my luggage, but after a full week of lugging around my bag across the sidewalks of New York, it kind of made sense why my luggage gave out. But besides that, setup went rather well, and I think the final table plan turned out pretty cute. Hello, lovely angels. I'm a little angel today. It's day one of AMYC. It's the first time I'm like really like fully vlogging. I've noticed that a lot of people do bring like little lav mics. I got my first purchase of the day. It's Clown Dokja. What do you have to say for yourself, Clown Dokja? I just dropped him. He is from a popular webcomic that my friends are apparently very obsessed with. I'm still setting up for the day. Not as rushed as I usually am, which is great. I'm trying to be a little bit more organized. Got my back of the table organized. Oh, it's so, this is so me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just given the sweetest little gift from a fan. And it's like so unique to me. There's even a charm where it's like a little kitty and it's an orange gem for dumpling and i love that so much thank you so much emily i'm gonna put it on right now because i'm going to lose my badge and i'll be sad if i do that it's almost the end of day one and day one baby yeah it's been really nice having maddie here it's her first time at like an artist alley like anime artist alley and it's been a good thing to have her around she's been very wonderful help 
I don't know how y'all do it. There's a lot of disassociation involved, just sitting at the table, working long hours. Nah, you should see Vicky. She's so friendly. She's like, hi, like, hi, let me know if there's any questions. I got that customer service voice down. Business. Whenever Vicky leaves, I'm just like, ah, um, so my partner is booth. Like, um. The reception and the connection issues have been really bad, but I've been hearing NYC is kind of just that every year. You gotta do what you gotta do because I definitely don't want to pay $300 for three days of internet. 333. 333. That's yeah. a cursed angel number. Hello. Yeah. Check out that customer service real quick. Low key, what I like to not realize is that like this is such a place for people to really like explore and fuck with gender i didn't realize like anime would be like that because when you think anime you think like kind of rigid like binary kind of stuff you know what i mean maddie has an agenda and it's called the gay agenda how's your experience so far do you like it yeah i'm uh i've, I've been to one con before but it wasn't an anime con so it feels pretty different i would say the only thing that's been stressful is just the connection like with the not being able to get like the square reader to work but other than that it's been cool yeah and <laughs> cute anime new york city big apple day one coming to a close we're at the home stretch how do you feel vicky i'm tired did you get enough sleep last night no everyone that's sharing my room we all woke up around 6 50 because some people didn't come in until like late last night so they had to set up really early this morning it gave me a lot of good time to just like set up at a nice pace but yeah i've been up since seven you're still killing it and Thank i'm you. still so proud of you vicky seriously vicky vicky really handled that shit earlier seriously y'all didn't even see and now we go into the last hour I did something really funny. I forgot to vlog all of day two, but it's day three, baby, and we're still out here. I'm doing a funny little under the table type interview chatty bit because I don't know where else to vlog. I got my line and then here's my table space. I must show you all my artist alley haul. I bought so many things. I probably shouldn't be because I am over the weight limit of my luggages for when I fly home and I don't want to pay the airplane companies. But here's my haul. I got a lot of stuff. I don't know if you could tell, but I do like buying shirts from artists. It's pretty fun. First up in Vicky's fashion show is a Coochie Pachi shirt from Boxer Bun or Aqui Bunny. Very cute. I love these oversized shirts with like big hems. Big fan of the artist. I'm really leveling up my closet. The other shirt I have is from Janet, my friend, Kuru. They got a whole really sick hot pot shirt. I really love the green on black, so it was like the thing to get. Also, the front is really funny. I think it just works out. It's like so goofy and silly, and I love being goofy and silly in this life. Then last set, I'm probably not gonna try on, but it's a PJ pajama set from Uchu Summer. Wow! Uchu Summer is like a beloved kind of like artist brand and this is actually their last show and it's been like a whole decade of them doing artist alleys and conventions so I felt like I just had to get something to just pay homage to such a wonderful artist brand. So my thoughts about the con so far. Not too bad. I feel like I'm still not really fully adapting to artist alley cons. Back in the day when I first started tabling 
It does. It says Sappos and Eros. Thank you. I was trying to make it like not too obvious, but you know. Oh my god. Sometimes the reaction to like Parseal is so interesting. Anyways, as I was saying about the con, I think it's been pretty fun overall. I still feel like I haven't really found my like niche that I fall into when it comes to anime artist alleys, but I have huge respect for all the artists here. Sales wise, it's been going okay. I feel like my takeaway from most big shows that I do is that I can be making more art and better art, which is not like the healthiest mindset to have, but it does like keep the drive going and just like motivate me to continually evolve my art and evolve as a person. It's been a little slow, which is why I'm able to kind of vlog a little bit more today. Yesterday was not as slow. You want a bath? It's been a bit since I've been back, but I've been just kind of like settling back in and getting into the groove. But I just wanted to take some time to reflect on how my trip went. So after coming back, both my luggages that carried all my inventory took a lot of damage and I took psychic damage from all that. We've definitely seen better days and I think after the two five hour flights or so, it was just too much for them. There's a massive gap here. This is actually like fully open, the tape. Oh, it's not. Okay, another one is, I know this one is. And this guy is missing a whole wheel. This is the open one. These two little bruises were from the plane ride over to New York. And then this one's from the one after. I love going back to New York every once in a while to visit friends that I haven't seen in a while. A lot of my high school friends all made it out there and have been there for basically a decade now. Anime NYC was such a fun con. I feel like the lineup was so stacked. Like all these really amazing artists, talented, just ever inspiring, all within the same con. And I just had a, so much fun running around trying to see as many people as I can. But even when I could, it just felt like the artist alley was like too spread out for me to like really fully look into all the tables. But talking about the con statistic business wise, um, it was pretty okay for me. I feel like I could have done better, but that's kind of like the trend that I've been noticing for all 2024. I think factoring travel costs and hotel stays and um, transportation and all that, it was still worth it. I still made profit. Woo! Were there things that I could have done to have made more profit? Yeah. Whenever I do a convention, I feel like there's this like high, <laughs> like this adrenaline rush, just meeting people, talking to people all day. It was such a fun time. I love being able to see con goers, especially like cosplayers, just talk about all the mutual interests and anime and Splatoon. I'm trying to find more Splatoon fans out there. So please hit my table up. If you came out to see me at Anime NYC, thank you so much. I always enjoy people's presences and just like seeing people face to face. Now that I'm back, I've been feeling a little bit more of that like social burnout because I was just hanging out and socializing with people, whether it be like customer service wise or just like hang out with friends afterwards for two weeks straight. And I'm like, oh my God, I just want to like shut myself in and like just lay in bed for an entire week. I've also been on a uh, new antidepressants. Woo, Lexapro. So I think that's been helping as well. 
Zoloft was great too. Love Zoloft, my homie, but Zoloft would make me sweat, like profusely sweat while I sweep, while I sleep. But yeah, tangent aside, I'm back. I'm ready to be working again, getting ready for the shop updates. Just a small one. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself with it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little New York vlog and I'll see you around. Bye.